Hi, my name is Mr. Chuan. You're welcome to my study room. Today, we are using Casio FS991 ES Plus calculator to find or calculate the limit of a function. This process can be used if you are answering objective questions or even to verify your answer for essay questions. Before we go ahead to answer any question, these are the general steps or rules you have to follow when you want to use a calculator to calculate for the limit of a function. First, you put the function without the limits in your calculator. Then two, you press the calc button on your calculator. And this is the calc button. We'll use that. That's the step two. Step three, press a number very close to the limit. And I will explain that further as we work the question. Then four, you press equal to and it gives you the answer to the question and pressing this number i'm coming back to step three pressing this number very close to the limit you can press a number very close from the left or close from the right and again that's why i'll explain that as we solve problems then the last point which i would like to add to this is that for infinity functions you use nine 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 a number of times when you get to step three for infinity functions on your calculator you hit nine so many times or a number of times and again that one too we will take examples of that as we work all right now let's solve some examples we have a general instruction here which says that evaluate the following limits so we'll first start by turning our calculator on press on and then to make sure our calculator has the right settings, let's clear the memory. So we press Shift 9, 3, which means we are clearing everything. And then we press equal to and AC. Our calculator's memory is cleared now, ready to work. So we take the very first question. The first problem says that the limit of 7x exponent 4 minus 3x all over 4x squared minus 18x as x approaches zero the most important thing here is that we are going to enter these functions the exact way we see them in the question on the calculator and remember the first point says that we put in the function without the limit sign so that is what we're going to do so let's go ahead this is a fraction so we start with the fraction symbol then we put seven x is an alphabet so we need the alpha key so alpha and then this key the close parenthesis which gives us x then we use this one as the exponent 4 remember to press the forward arrow key to bring the cursor down minus 3 alpha x so we get the numerator then we bring the cursor down by using the down arrow key then we put 4 alpha x squared minus 18 alpha x right then now we go to the second point which is for us to press the calc function so this is calc i press calc the third point is for us to press a number very close to the limit so the limit is x approaches zero so a number close to the limit from the left can be negative 0 0.0000001 or from the right 0 0.00001 so i'm going to use both of them but remember this is a limit limit means a number very close to this number not the exact number if you put the exact number there your calculator will give you error for example let's try and see let me put zero then you see so zero then i press equal to you see that we have error and so we must make sure we use a number very very close to the limit so now let's use from the left first then after that use from the right you see that whichever i use it to give you the same thing so from the left we have negative 0 0.00001 so let me press the cock then i put negative remember to use this and not the minus sign so negative 0 0.000 as many of them as you can one 
then I press equal to. So that gives me 0 0.16666 repeated, right? So if you are not very sure of what that means in fraction, you can just go back and change that. So I go to 0 0.16666. I should just make sure my 6 is as many as possible. 7 equal to, and that is 1 over 6. So the answer to this is 1, 6. We can also check from the right. So from the right, we have calc 0 0.0000000000001. You know, this is very, very close to 0 to the right. 0 0.00001 and equal to. And that gives us straight 1, 6. So whichever direction we carry it from we should make sure the number is as close to that number as possible and with the examples i will make sure i try to do that so let's go to the second problem which is the limit of 3x squared minus 4x plus 9 all over 5x squared plus 2x minus 1 as s approaches 1 so we start the whole process again we put in the function we can choose to edit this using the arrow keys or we start all over again so i start ac i press the fraction symbol i put in the function without a limit so 3x squared 3 alpha x squared minus 4 alpha x plus 9 then i bring the cursor down by using the down arrow key then i go to 5 alpha x squared plus 2 alpha x minus 1 and then you know so now we're going to the second step which is to press the calc function so calc now our limit is x x approaches 1 so now i will take it from the right you can choose to take it from the left and use 0 0.999999 but I'm going to take it from the right, which is 1.000001. So I will press 1.000000. Let the zero be as many as possible. One. Then I press equal to. And that gives me 4 over 3. So the limit of this function as x approaches 1 is 4 over 3. Again, I can decide to use 0 0.9999 and it's the same thing. So just make sure the number is as close to this number here as possible, but not exactly the number. Now let's go to the third one. Again, let me put in the function without a limit. And there you have it. Make sure again you put in the question just exact way you have it on your paper. So you have 16 minus x squared all over 5 minus square root of x squared plus 9. And the x squared plus 9 are both in the square root. So that's where you have it. We go to the next step, which is to press the calc. The limit is as s approaches 4. I can use 4.00001, but I'm going to take it from the left, which is 3.99999. So I press 3. 9999999 and that gives us 10 as our answer so this is 10 again you can decide to use 4.00001 the same thing we try that to and see so 4.00001 depending on how many zeros you enter before the one it will give you a fraction that when you change it you get the 10 as you have it so for example you can have this clock 4.000001 and you see that also gives you 10 so you just have to make sure the number is as close to 4 as possible either from the left or from the right then let's go to the fifth question the limit of 5x squared plus 3 all over x squared minus 2 as s approaches infinity remember i said something about infinity that for infinity functions you must hit 
a number of nines for the x so that's what we're going to do let's start first by putting in the function which is a uh, by pressing ac fraction 5 alpha x squared plus 3 down arrow key alpha x squared minus 2 we have our setup now so we go to calc and then x is asking us what is the value of x remember x approaches infinity so we just hit Nine 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 a number of times that so we press equal to and that gives us five. So the limit of this function as s approaches infinity is five. We take the very last one for this study and now quickly put in the function. So six x squared minus four x minus two all over three x squared minus two. Then again, as s approaches infinity, so we're going to press the calc function and we press nine a number of times and we hit equal to, and then that gives us our answer to be two. So this is how we can use the Casio FX991 ES plus calculator to find the limit of functions. You can try your own questions and see how it works. But the most important thing is that I believe this lesson is going to save you time when you're solving multiple choice questions especially and also to verify your answers if you are solving essay questions. If yes, then why not consider subscribing to this channel for more videos like this. Till we meet again in my study room. Bye-bye.